hope this training announcement finds you well. Kurt Isaacson here. Engine company operations, gallons per second, the update. FDIC 2015. At the update of gallons per second, we're going to discuss what's changed just in the last two to three years on water on the fire. Today's fire environment requires a massive amount of GPMs or gallons per second as I like to call it to overcome today's BTUs and the rapid energy that the fuels are producing. The energy, the heat release rates, the amount of megawatts that are in the fuel loads in today's fire environment require significant understanding of ventilation coordinated with proper water application. In the update we're going to cover things like using a thermal imager starting on the outside and moving inside. Not the thermal imager as it has been in the past for search and rescue of trapped victims, but the thermal imager to apply water on today's fire for a rapid extinguishment so we can then do a rapid search. We will cover today's big hot topics in relation to getting water on the fire. Today's fire attack hose and the positives and negatives. The direction that the fire service needs to take and understanding the pros and cons of inch and three quarter, the new two inch hose, and two and a half. They all have their place but we need to understand when, why, and how we're going to apply that hose on the fire ground. We're going to cover the big three. The number one being the desired amount, the desired GPM or GPS. The number two, the desired location. Where do we need to get this water? When is it okay to flow water from the outside? Not all fires do we need to be applying water from the yard or outside. We still have that foundational get the line in the front door, stop fire spread, search for occupants. Then the number three, the desired mobility, the desired nozzle reaction is critical. More is not always better. You can flow so much water, but if you can't get that line inside, down a hallway to a room and contents fire, then you're losing that battle. Understanding gallons per second in 2015. Understanding the difference between an automatic fog nozzle of the 80s and 90s the select gallonage nozzle and the today's low pressure set gallonage and that it's been a nationally accepted practice for over 15 years now that we should be entering the front door with a minimum of 150 GPMs and understanding the inch and three quarter. This class will not be about a debate between the smooth bore or the fog but about what the minimum is that you should be going through the front door, when it's okay to be going through the front door, when it's not okay to be standing outside and getting gallons per second on your fire to eliminate the BTUs for a more rapid fire extinguishment. Hope to see you in April of 2015 at Engine Company Operations, gallons per second. Until then, have a safe winter.